Humans have made tall buildings, huge dams, and bridges extending between continents and countries. But what if one of those huge man-made structures collapsed? What would happen if the Burj Khalifa collapsed, for example, or the Three Gorges Dam in China? And are such disasters possible in our modern age? On January 4, 2010, Dubai's Burj Khalifa became the tallest skyscraper in the world, rising to a dizzying height of 2,716.5 feet from the desert floor. The building outgrew the previous record holder, Taipei 101 in Taiwan, by over 1,000 feet. It boasts over 160 floors, another world record, as well as five other records including the world's tallest freestanding structure, the world's highest occupied floor, and the world's longest elevator ride. But like China's Three Gorges Dam and other impressive feats of gargantuan engineering, there is always the possibility that human error or ignorance will bring the overgrown hunk of metal crumbling to the ground. The internet has been wondering if the Burj Khalifa could collapse since literally the day after it opened. When we think about such a calamity, we imagine a long, cinematic event in which someone like Dwayne The Rock Johnson scales the structure with his bare hands to save his daughter before the tower crumbles into a ball of fire and dust. But the best description of this hypothetical disaster is probably this. Lots of people would die, lots more would lose a lot of money, and there'd be a big pile of rubble in the middle of Dubai. Sounds about right. But let's take a look at the features of the Burj Khalifa that protect it from such a terrible fate. The Burj Khalifa was designed to confuse the wind. All skyscrapers have to deal with the problem of wind and the architects of the Burj Khalifa came up with a pretty ingenious way to keep the building upright in gusty conditions. The tower is composed of several smaller stock-like towers set around a central spire. This apparently wacky design actually serves the function of not allowing winds to form vortexes or powerful eddies of air currents that would damage the tower. The building's chief structural engineer called this process confusing the wind. It basically just prevents the wind from being able to grab hold of the building towers like Taipei 101, Citigroup Center in New York City, and the John Hancock Building in Boston. Use something called a tuned mass damper to reduce the effect of wind, but it's not for structural soundness. This is a giant ball suspended at the top of the tower that swings the opposite direction from the way the wind pushes the building in order to keep it from swaying and making the people inside sick or uneasy. Despite its innovative design, the Burj Khalifa still rocks back and forth about 2 meters at its very top. But don't worry, it won't collapse anytime soon. <laughs> 